Welcome to my channel and I'm glad to see you again. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to load Likaskit data into XPSS with particular emphasis on the fastest way to do value labeling and assign scale of measure. My name is Tito Ken and this is Tito Kamak Solutions, a YouTube channel for improving the knowledge of how to do things. Now let's assume that you have this kind of data set in an Excel spreadsheet which you have collected from a Likaskit questionnaires consisting of identification number or ID, gender, and over 50 Likert items such as item Q, item QN, item QNS, and item QC, under which the scale values represent the five points Likert scale spectrum for agreement. My intention is to load this dataset into XPSS and then define the value labels with a five point Likert scale answer statement and then select the appropriate scale of measure for each item. Without further ado, let's get into XPSS for the demonstration. Now, let's load the Likert scale dataset in the Excel file into XPSS. To do that, go to the menu bar and click on File. From the sub menu, put your cursor on Open. And from the drop down options, click on Data. This opens the Open Data dialog box as you can see. From here, navigate to the directory or folder where you have saved the Excel file. In my case, I am right in the folder where I have saved the Excel file. But the Excel file is not visible yet because of the file default format. So, go to the Files of Type and click on it. From the drop down options, select Excel and immediately the Excel becomes visible. Now click on the Excel file to select it and so that it appears in the file name space. Then click open and immediately a new dialog box pops up. Just go ahead and click OK to load the data into XPSS. Since the objective of this video is with particular emphasis on value labeling and the appropriate selection of the scale of measure for liquor scale items, then click on the variable view button to go to the variable view window. In this variable view window, this is the value label column and this is the scale of measure column. And we have the gender and about 54 Likert items to define their value labels and associate appropriate scale of measure. Now, let's start with gender. Under the value column, click on the cell corresponding to gender. Then click on the blue knob at the right to open the value labels dialog box as you can see. Now, let's define values for the male and female label respectively. In the value space, enter 1. And in the label space, enter male. Then click add to define the value label for male. Then in the value space, enter 2. And in the label space, enter female. Then click Add to define the value label for female. Then click OK to complete the value labeling for the gender. Now we move to the next one. Similarly, click on the cell corresponding to item Q1. Then click on the blue knob at the right to open the value labels dialog box as you can see. Now let's define value for the five point Likas case using the agreement spectrum such as 1 for strongly disagree, 2 for disagree, 3 for neither, 4 for agree, and 5 for strongly agree. Now, in the value space, enter 1. And in the label space, enter strongly disagree. Then, click add to define the value label. Again, in the value space, enter 2, and in the label space, enter disagree. Then click add to define the value space. Again, in the value space, enter 3, and in the label space, enter neither. Then click add to define the value label. Again, in the value space, enter 4 and in the label space, enter Agree. Then click Add to define the value label. And finally, in the value space, enter 5. 
and in the labor space enter strongly agree. Then click add to define the value label. Then click OK to complete value labeling for item Q1. Now let's repeat the process for the next Likert item Q2. But if you continue like this, then to complete this labeling for the remaining 52 items might take you a long time. However, there is an easy way to define the liquor scale for each item and complete the value labeling very fast. Now click on the value cell corresponding to item Q1 to activate it, and then right click. Then from the pop up options, click on copy or simply use Ctrl C. Then click on the next cell to activate it. Then right click and select paste or simply use Ctrl V. This pastes the exact value labels as defined for item Q1. Now let's open the value labels dialog box for item Q2 to see if we are correct. As you can see, the pasting is done correctly. Now click cancel to close this dialog box. This time, highlight the two cells, right click and copy them. Then, highlight the next two cells, right click and select paste. So now, we can continue to copy multiple cells and paste as appropriate. But please, note that you must highlight at least the number of cells you copied for the pasting to work correctly. Let's continue the task. Now we have completed the value labeling task without spending much time. I am sure if you were to do it without following this fast method, you may still be at item number 3 by now. Now let's move to the scale of measure and apply the same principle. The default scale of measure associated here with the Likert items is nominal measure, and this is wrongly chosen by the XPSS system. So we have to change it. Now click on the corresponding cell to item Q1 and from the drop down options select the ordinal measure since Likert scale is naturally ordinal measure. You can continue to change the measure cell by cell and take forever to complete the task. But for this tutorial we will apply the same principle as we did for value labeling. That is to copy and paste as appropriate. Now let's go. Like this, we have correctly associated the right scale of measure very fast as well. This is how to perform value labeling and associate scale of measure to a Likert scale item very fast in XPSS. I hope this video was useful to you because right now we have come to the end of this video. 
I hope you'll be able to replicate the procedures as demonstrated in this video to make your work very fast. If you like this video and you want to see more video content like this, please share and give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel to encourage education and learning and so that you receive notification every time I publish new and useful content. Subscription is free. Thanks for your time and subscription and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.